Hey there, so in this video I'm just going to go over the lights and how they work in Robotank. So, we'll go to our settings and here we've got our lights. So let's go to our lights and you can see we've got our daily light modes and there's nothing set up. So it says press add daily light mode on left side to set up your lights. So you can see here add daily light mode. So push and hold it and now we get a schedule. So when do we want this to start and when do we want it to stop or fade duration rather. So we want this to start at 1 p.m. And we want it to fade for one hour. So at 1 p.m. the schedule is going to run and it's going to run for an hour. Now we get all our ranges. So we're going to leave these here. So now what that means, well, let's just keep setting up our rules, our schedules. Let's go with 3 p.m. on this one and we'll run it for two hours. Save. You can see our mode. Let's view times. So now we've got 1 p.m. and our 3 p.m. schedule. Let's add another one. Let's go with 6 p.m. and we'll just do an hour and six minutes for the heck of it. And hit save. Okay, so we've got three schedules. That's basically enough to do a day if you want. Uh, you can run up to 11 different modes. So let's go to our mode one. Um, that's going to go through there, through there, and this is our last mode. So this is when it ends. So at the end of the night, all our lights are going to go to zero, dark. At 1 p.m., they're going to start fading up to this level here, and it's going to take 60 minutes to go from this mode, which is dark, to this mode which is quite dim then it's going to sit there at 2 p.m. it'll get there and it'll stay there until 3 p.m. at 3 p.m. let's increase our ranges even higher now these sliders look like I'm setting this really bright but I'm not because we have a low and a high range so this is 210 if we view a percentage, that'll give you a better idea. Um, there's our percentage. So this is 5% on that channel because we're in low range. Change it to high range, now that slider is 82%. So basically that just gives you fine detail for the dim levels. Because when uh, your lights are dim, you can actually see the changes easier. So now you got really fine control. High range, not such control, but it doesn't matter because the lights are so bright you can't really see the difference. So that's what those are for. Um, we've got a delete mode and a view mode names. So again, there's our schedules. Right now it shows our time. If we hit it, it just shows our names. If we push and hold that, we can customize a name. So let's go morning. Oh, I'm looking at this funny and I can't get the right buttons. Morning, save. There you go, morning. Let's put this day. Oh man, I can't do this today. Sorry, people. Save, and we'll put this one night. <laughs> okay, that was painful, but we got it. Morning, day, and night. So we've got all our modes set, and that's all we have to do. Now it'll run in this sequence through every day. Uh, now we've got edit temporary light modes. So let's go to that. What do we have? Nothing, because we didn't set any up. So you can set up to 10 different temporary light modes. Now what a temporary light mode is, is basically just what it says it is. So we'll hit OK. Time doesn't matter, but that'll be a feature for later. Uh, select a level. So let's just put something in the high range here. Okay, so they're all in high range. Let's just get them whatever. Doesn't really matter. And now we have our one temp mode. So right now you can see we're in our regular mode. We've got a temporary light button here. If I press that, it just went into that temporary light mode. 
press it and it went just back into our daily night mode. Go back to our lights. Let's add a second temporary light mode. Now we have two light modes and you can change their names as well. So temp mode one, you could put it to whatever you want. Mid. Now let's go back to our home page. Now this time when we hit, we have two modes. So now we can toggle between our temporary light modes. And if you do that, now it's back to our daily schedule, back to our mid. So that's how our light modes work. And hit resume and it'll beep and your lights will go back to your regular schedule. So that's how your light modes work. Um, weather, that's coming shortly. But uh, what you have here is you can set up a storm and you can have uh, your minutes, your max. You can turn a lunar phase on or off, uh, automatic mode or manual mode. So that's our advanced features. If we go into our advanced features, we've got our lightning strike intensity, pause between lightning strikes, cloud over duration, and the storm frequency. And then allow storms to run at night. There's a special night mode so that it's nice and dim. And we've got the different channels. So we can say we only want lightning to strike channel 6, 3, and 4. Maybe you have red on channel 1 and red lightning doesn't look so good. Cloud over target. So this is how dim the lights are going to go when the storm comes along. And it won't necessarily always go to this level, but it will be within a range. And it will be uh, just whatever the controller decides. Enable the storm or disable it. So that is all our light features. There you have it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. And be sure to check out our other videos.